Hey, this is Darkstalkers 3 on PS1, and I think I'm going to do a playthrough or try a playthrough with Lilith. I wanted to check her, well, I wanted to check her moves and her colors. And uh, it looks like, at least in the arcade version, there's eight colors per character, I guess. One for each attack button, and one for all three punch buttons, and one for all three kick buttons. So that's six attack buttons and then two combination buttons for eight total colors so I'm gonna try her colors this color here uh, is just her default light punch color so I was selecting her with light punch This is medium punch. Kind of like this one. Um, and unlike a lot of Capcom games of especially the PS2 era, these these color selections don't seem to be hard bound to like the the PlayStation face buttons or anything like that. But they're actually following the attack buttons that I've remapped on my arcade stick with the game's option menu. So. That's that's really nice. You don't have to worry about what... Oh, see, here's my remapped attack buttons. I actually didn't mean to go here. You don't have to worry about what the original attack buttons were because it doesn't follow your remap buttons as far as the color selection goes. It, it seems to be following the remap buttons, which is great. I like this orangey shtick she has as well. Not sure why, although there is another orange one that I think I like a little more than this one. I was looking at some of these. I thought I'd started recording earlier, and so I went through some of these already, and then I realized I wasn't recording. Uh, so I'm a dummy. Which we already knew. That was Heavy Punch. Blue hair and orange tights. This is Light Kick. Orange hair and pink tights. And then for Medium Kick, the next one, I think it swaps those two car uh, colors. Look at that. Okay. Oops, I, I hit select. That's taunt. She dreams of desserts. Oh, uh, there's a couple more that I've seen before. Come on. Give me that triple decker ice cream cone. There you go. All right. There might be more. I don't know. So that's medium kick, pink hair, and orange tights. I kind of like this one. This one and uh, the bluish one, which was medium punch. Uh, but let's see what else we can get. Oh, I have seen uh, heavy kick. Heavy kick is this one. This one is maybe the the least uh, mm, colorful one, I guess you could say. A little more subtle. Now. There are also supposed to be two colors on combinations, one with all three punches, one with all three kicks. So I, I'm not sure that works in the PS1 version. We're going to try it, though. So I'm going to try to hit all three punches at once. Here we go. Uh, uh, I think that's different. It's 
definitely different than the default. It's different than medium punch. Yeah, it is different. It's different than heavy punch. Yeah. It doesn't really stand out in my mind, but it's different. Uh, and then we'll try all three kicks. That should be all eight colors. Uh, that is medium kick. At least it sure looks like medium kick. So I may have got that one. My input may not have been good. Okay, I'm gonna have to try this again. There we go. Wow. Well, that is definitely different. Makes me wonder if I actually got the three punches one, because it was not nearly as radical as this. It's kind of cool. The tan purple look. Let's do some prancing. Uh, all right, well, let me try, just to make sure, I wanna try the three punches again. It was different, I'm pretty sure, than all the others, so I think I did get it. Yeah. All right, so we've seen all, all eight colors. I think my favorites are medium kick and three kicks. Okay, so now I want to look at her moves, and I don't think we have... Uh, I keep doing that. Uh, I don't think we have in-game move lists. Nope. So... I'm just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Uh, you can, of course, trigger dark forces by hitting kick and punch together and she does her mirror thing uh, okay I suppose that, anyway there's um oh it's different okay wait so if you hit lights her mirror trails her you hit mediums, well, her mirror still trails her. If you hit heavies, then it comes in from the opposite direction. But it doesn't last as long, it's, I think. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. Whereas if I did medium, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. So maybe you get an extra second that way. Light, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Huh. Um, so light and medium, you have a trailing mirror, but you get one more second. Heavy, you have a reflected mirror, but you get one less second. Okay, and then she's got a fireball with quarter circle forward. Different speeds. But the same distance. Uh, you've got an uppercut with the uppercut, usual uppercut motion. Three different strengths. Oh, that was an accidental EX hitting two buttons. You can EX the fireball as well. And it goes extra far. But slow. Or if it hits twice. It's three times. It's such a short range fireball. Um. Okay. 
you've got, uh, I think there's a... Yeah, back. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Back. Quarter circle back punch is this. It's a command throw, I, I think. It's a really funky animation. Oh, come on. Oh, it's because I'm doing half circle. Wait, is it? No, I just doing it wrong. Oh wow, so the different strengths make her jump farther. I'm not sure why you wouldn't do the strongest one unless it's a little slower maybe, because even if you're too close she still makes the grab, where then you can do it from all the way back here, whereas if you do the light, you won't get her from all the way back there, or the medium. <laughs> um, I wonder if you can EX this. Yep. Bye bye. Okay, uh. And let's see what we've got on kicks. Uh, that's not a thing. Okay. Is it quarter circle? Well, it feels like quarter circle back. Light, medium, heavy. Huh, it only hits once, though. And then EX hits multiple times. Oh. Huh. It also takes a backwards uppercut motion. That works as well. Interesting. Trying to figure out which one's easier or more reliable for me to do. About the same, really. Alright, what moves have I missed? Gonna look at the move list for her. I looked up a bunch of facts and then just the one on Event Hubs. Event Hub seems to have it covered. Uh, Soul Flash, that's the Fireball. Shining Blade, that's the Uppercut. Merry Turn, that's the spin kick I was just doing. Okay, Mystic Arrow, half circle back. Oh, that's the command grab. Okay, so we've seen all her regular special moves. Now she's got what it calls EX special moves, which you could also call super moves. Well, they're basically moves that use a charge of meter. Mindless Mimic Doll is the light buttons together or the medium buttons together to trigger the uh, dark forces. And then the heavy version yeah. is called uh, Mindless Mirror Doll because there's the mirror version, which you can barely see there. Um, okay. Then there's Splendor Love, which is an uppercut and two kicks. Oh yeah, so that takes a, it takes a charge, but it hits a lot and does a lot of damage. And it's pretty easy to do, it's just an uppercut with two kicks, so that's, that's a good super. Nothing wrong with that. And then there's a uh, gloomy puppet show, which is a uh, half circle forward and two kicks. Oh, I remember this one. No. So now you have to do a. You have to hit the sequence of flashing buttons that it's showing you. I didn't do it very well. I'm really bad at this one. So half circle forward, two kicks. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, 
only did 20 damage that time. It's even worse. Let's try this again. Yeah. Three. Oh, I'm terrible at rhythm games, but I got 28 that time. I suppose once you get enough practice with those, you do better. <laughs> At least people who don't suck at rhythm games. <sighs> I felt I had a little more rhythm on that one. Thirty-one. All right. Well, so that's that. Play a little rhythm game. Um, there's one more. Yeah. Then, then there's this one that I have trouble pulling off in a fight. It's light punch, light punch, forward. What's that? Light punch, light punch, forward, light kick, heavy punch. So. Light punch, light punch, forward. Light punch, light punch, forward. Hit. Remember it. Light punch, light punch, forward. Light, light punch, light punch, forward. Light kick, heavy punch. They don't all have to hit. You just have to do it fast. Forty-six damage. In fact, it's really distracting if one of them hits. But you can still do it. It's interesting, she doesn't do any attacks after the first jab if the first jab hits, but it still, it still does the uh, special. Not, not really sure why you would do that when this does more damage. Unless... I suppose this is probably a command grab that can get them even if they're blocking. I guess that's probably the key. Okay, well, that's that's too complicated for me to do. I'm probably just going to stick to... Not that. This. Oh, that sucked. See, that does almost as much damage. That's the same motion, just with punches instead of kicks. Oh, wow. To the air EX fireball. I can't. Oh man. Oh, 39. That's my best yet. Well, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to do this one. Not that one. This one. It covers a lot of area, too. That one's not bad, but anyway. Okay. Well, so that's the moves. That's the colors. Let's go see. Uh, Let's go see about playing through. Now, here's the options that I missed recording earlier. This is the default options, because I don't have my memory card in, so this is just what came up, except that I reset my, I mapped my keys, um, which is really easy to do, unlike in the Cygnosis port of Darkstalkers 1, where you have to change each key, scroll through the function separately or something. In this one, you just hit the, uh, hit the sequence of your buttons, and there you go. 
All right. So I think I'm going to go for the medium kick color. The DF change and DF power is different modes of dark forces. Uh, I forget the the second one is more restrictive. I think it was a an update after Vampire Savior. The, this game is interesting because Darkstalkers 3 is only the name of the US PS1 version. In the arcade in the US, the game was called Vampire Savior. And it was called Vampire Savior in Japan on arcade and on console. You know, on console it was called Vampire Savior EX Edition in Japan. Wow, B Hood is kind of comatose here. Whoops. Somebody woke her up. Ow! I was trying to do. Oh, she blocked it. So that would be why you would do. Uh, I was trying to do the. Different sequence. Maybe it wasn't. What was that? Oh, cool outfit. The dog freaks out. Well, that's kind of kinky, Lilith. Thanks for sharing. Ah, Rikuo, a.k.a. Allbath, I think, in Japan. Uh, in Darkstalkers 1, he's a real jerk to fight. Hopefully he's not as bad here. In 1, he just spams attack like attacks like crazy. Probably helps that I'm only on stage on fight number two so far. Yeah. Dang it. So maybe that super isn't that great because it gets blocked a lot. Oh, that was interesting. That was just back heavy kick. Ow. Got all my cool outfits, Rick. Whoa. Kawaii, which I guess means cute. I don't know. I had a friend who was really into anime, and that's what he told me. <laughs> I'm serious. It was a friend. Uh. Ow. Now I said that Cygnosis, it's a British software developer, they ported Darkstalkers 1 on PS1. Capcom did the, they took like an, an extra year to do that port. So Darkstalkers 2 never made it out on PS1 because they were still trying to get Darkstalkers 1 out. But, uh, and then Capcom, I think, had had enough of that and decided to port three themselves. Ow! Ow! They bombed. That was cool. Dang it. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Wait, is that back... Is that back punch or back kick? A circle. That is half circle back punch. Yeah. 
Oh. Man, it's no wonder I'm bad with Anacharis. His move inputs are nuts. They're all button sequences and stuff. Ouch. Oh, man. Dang it. Getting that accidentally, but I'll take it. Ow. Oh no! Is that a command? Ow! See, I, I think they found that Dark Forces uh, in Vampire Savior was a little overpowered. So I, maybe it was for the next version, because in Japan, two more, at least two more versions of Savior came out. They called them different things, and they tweaked Dark Forces so that it took two uh, energy charges to activate, I think. <laughs> And it was, there was something else that was harder to do in it or something. Ah, he's so fast. Ah, Dang it. Ah, this is where I wish I had long range fireballs so I could stay away from him. Ouchies. Ah, Dang it. No, oh, this is not going well. Oop. color even though I hit a different select button there so that was that was fortunate that's a nice feature don't have to reselect your character and color each time that's actually a great feature I really appreciate that it definitely saves load time as well wow. notice that I don't know any Real good combos. <laughs> uh, was dumb. Uh, okay, that does not work. So The AI has so far not used Dark Forces. Kawaii. What? Is it so bad? Man, Lilith is uh, pretty creepy, huh? I think it 
some in was it in Dark Forces? It was Dark Forces. Darkstalkers one. Did they spell his name Raptor or Raptor? I guess it was Raptor. This version, this stage in the Savior is pretty bizarre. I kind of like his stage in Darkstalkers one, where it kind of this atmospheric green graveyard with little creepy creatures creeping around. Jeez. Oh, I got nothing out of that Dark Forces. Oh man, he just goes nuts when I activate Dark Forces. Oh, that sucked. When I said I don't know combos, of course, every character just, like, they're common chain combos that I'm also not doing. You have to start with lights, and I, I have this bad habit of attacking with heavies all the time. So happy. Who am I fighting? It doesn't say. Deserted Chateau. Uh oh. What? Fading away. I ain't fading. You're fading. I forget what the uh, the relationship between these two is. Like, was Lilith like a sort of clone, but I don't know, some kind of offspring or half sister or something of Morgan? I don't know. I have no idea. Ow, she knows the chain combos. Ow. Oh, shoot. She's got all my moves just bigger. Ow. Dang it, that's what I was trying to do. Whoa. Oh, she's got better moves. Guard cancel. Look at me. You're so hot. Morgan. Can't I? Uh, there we go. Oh. oh, she did one. Oh no, she did the mirror one. Ah, God. I don't know what to do. Oh, she gets fireworks. Yeah. Well, excuse me. I just nailed my mic stand. I hope that didn't make a horrible sound. It probably did. Hey! No, oh, that was terrible. I'm just flailing around. What the? Oh, she does say Shining Blade. Name of the move, I guess. Yep. Yeah. 
Die. Ooh. I got her in a good spot that time. Ah, shoot. I was trying to do an uppercut. My lift. What was that? I can't activate. I... second did come in handy. <laughs> wow. So because I killed her, I die as well? Is that the bad ending? Wow. So does that, was I like part of her and we merged? Is that what that is? Well, now I, now I wonder if there are multiple endings. Like if I had uh, played with fewer continues or something, if I would have actually got to a regular boss fight or does Lilith always end fighting Morrigan? I'm gonna have to look this up. It's cool, though. I like that. I mean, if it is a... Well, it's got to be a special boss fight for Lilith. It wouldn't make sense for anybody else, really. Unless... I wonder if Morgan fights Lilith. These names, man. I like this background. Where, where, where... Goro Suzuki, 1996. Pimp. Pokemon with two Ks. Hyper Shin-Chan, I think I saw him in... Maybe it was the credits for the first one. Hard Gas Jetta. Neo G. I forget if Neo G had worked at... SNK or something? Huh. Huh, so no Funamizu. Oh, there he is. He's general producer. Okay. Bond. Wow. <laughs> Yotaru's mama. Wow. Oh, that's good stuff. Hyper Shinchan again. So he worked on the arcade version and the console version. Fernando. Original mode. For Mickey. And Oh. I guess I did work on this playthrough. This music's pretty dope.
cool. Put all these noobs playing on normal. Of course, you also set, you can adjust the uh, speed even more in the option menu if you wanted to. All right, I don't, I don't want, oh, what the heck. I think there's some flashing effects in this, but uh, some screen flash effects. So close your eyes if you're sensitive to that kind of thing, maybe. Yeah, there's some flashing. Short. I think that might be, might be longer version in the arcade. So yeah, you can crank the speed way up if you wanted to. Uh, okay, I'm gonna pause this and go and look to see if I can find out if there is more than one ending for Lilith. I'll be right back because this recording is gonna be paused. Hmm, nope, there's just that one ending for Lilith in uh, this game. Well, there is a, a special ending you get if you defeat Oboro Bishamon or something, some secret character or something. Anyway, that, that's not a story part for Lilith, though. That's just a separate beat this hidden character thing. Um, so, and I think it applies to other characters as well, probably. Anyway, so the Lilith ending, yeah, you're, you're, it's just that one where you fight Morgan and then she collapses. And uh, I guess the deal is that she's, a, you know, a split off portion of Morgan. And so they sort of rejoin at the end of this game. So fun stuff. Um, so that was my little playthrough with uh, Lilith in Darkstalkers 3. Default difficulty, which is 2, which was pretty easy, especially since you don't have to fight a actual boss character, and Morgan didn't seem like she was, you know, cranked up on difficulty or anything like that, so... Uh, so maybe if I do Lilith again, I could try it on a harder difficulty. Um, I wouldn't want to try that on another character just yet, because most of them probably do have to fight an annoying boss character, and I think... I was no, uh, I skimmed over something in the fact that well, actually no, that's different modes. Yeah, you can you can unlock a ex and dx menus or something and change the mode to be to be like one of the other versions of two or three or whatever, and then you might fight different bosses. But I'm not gonna do that stuff. Uh, I don't I don't care enough for that. Um, so that's 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 pretty much it. Lilith is has been my favorite character in this game for a while, I guess, because I'm just she's cute. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's, I'm a simpleton, um, but I do like her sort of Shoto type moves, and uh, you know she fires people from a giant bow. That's fun. Um, so what what should I play next? What should I play tomorrow? Uh, you know, I haven't really thought that far ahead. Or wait, I did, but now I forget what I thought. Mm -hmm. Well, I can always do, can always use getting in some more Capcom vs. SNK 2 or 1, or Marvel vs. Capcom 2 or 1. There's a lot to be done in those games. Uh, what's something... I should see if there's something I haven't played in a little while that I want to play. Ooh, that was my wrist popping. Sorry if you had to hear that. Um, well, I'm sure I'll find something. Uh, so I could do more Darkstalkers. Uh, no, I won't do that. Not not just yet. Not for a little while. But there's there are a lot of characters in this game, really, when you when you think about it. And I do like how they map the colors on the characters. It's so much less frustrating than a lot of Capcom's games, especially uh, in the PS2 era where they, they seemed more to do the binding, the colors to to face buttons. You, they screw, they get all weird if you remap your buttons, and uh, it's terrible. In this one, they, they map nicely to the attack buttons, no matter what you map them to. Uh, so that is awesome. Now, this port is actually super well done, like the way you can you can just select to continue with the same character and you don't have to go back to character select. Just good, uh, what do they call that? Comfort of life, no. Uh, spice of life, no. Uh, 
I don't know. Anyway, something so just nice, nicely thought out options. No wonder they called this uh, Vampire Savior EX edition in the in the Japan. I guess in the U.S. they they wanted to do the Darkstalkers thing, so that's what they did. Darkstalkers three, and we're proud. All right, well that's all I got for uh, the Lilith playthrough, and uh, so good night. <laughs>